wow, that just slipped out. Oh my god, say it again. No. Go on. There are so many ways to know if a movie or show is a hit with the fans. One of the ways is obviously by box office sales, or in the case of shows, the number of people who streamed or watched the show. Another way is by the ratings of fans and critics, and yet another way is when the fans ask for a sequel immediately after watching the original. Heartstopper is one of the few shows that managed to hit high notes on all three. Even though the show only debuted on Netflix a couple weeks ago, it's been a massive hit among fans, especially fans in the LGBTQ community. Fans have praised the show for its accurate depiction of the LGBTQ, especially some particular issues that members of the community have to deal with. I feel like it's a very refreshing show. It's a very positive, very nice, sort of warm show. And judging by fan reactions, it's almost certain that we are going to get a second season. But then Netflix has this bad habit of canceling shows that people really like, so it's kind of hard to tell. With all this being said, there have been a few speculations about the plot of season two. Fans have been theorizing what is likely to happen after the events of season one, and Kit Connor has been spilling the details. One of such potential plot lines is mental health. Now, mental health awareness has been on the rise in the past couple of years, and it is no longer taboo to talk about mental health issues, unlike what we had a couple of years ago. While mental health is a very important plot line, Heartstopper is going to be taking things up a notch further by talking about mental health as it regards to people in the LGBTQ community, which is a really big deal. Mental health also tends to take a dark route when it's portrayed in books and movies, and is rarely ever sunshine and roses. This plotline has kind of been confirmed by the Heartstopper scriptwriter Alice Oseman, who also wrote the graphic novel and webcomic that the show is based on. Speaking to Digital Spy, she said, If we do get future seasons, I'll definitely want to be bringing in the themes of mental health, because that's something that's really important in the books. The challenge of writing Heartstopper is exploring those darker issues while keeping the tone so optimistic and hopeful. That has been, like, the struggle of writing it for me the whole way through. She continued, But I like to think that it's possible. I feel like if I have achieved it in the book, I've been able to be very candid about mental health, and I explored that in a real way while not writing something that's intensely triggering or really dark and horrible to read or watch. So that is very much my goal for the show. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that is going to work out. Speaking of mental health, this fan shared some opinions about the areas of mental health the season is most likely going to focus on, saying, Season 2 of Heartstopper would explore Charlie's ED and mental health issues hinted at toward the end of Season 1, Tori's asexuality, and of course, Elle and Tao's relationship. This is a great observation, and there is a very high chance that at least one of these issues is going to be addressed in Season 2. In fact, Kit confirmed half of the fans' speculation. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, he said, I think that seeing Tao and Elle's relationship slowly progress is something that everyone watching Season 1 was very keen to see, so I'm sure they'd be very excited for that. Another plotline that she confirmed in the same interview is that we are going to be seeing more of the teachers in Season 2. In fact, not only are we going to see the teachers, but we are also going to be seeing more of their love lives as well. Alice confirmed that the next season is going to be taking a deeper look at the romantic lives of the teachers, and that we are probably going to be seeing a new teacher or two. She said, if we do get a future season, we'll be moving into volume three of the books, and that is when the teacher romance happens. So in the show, we've already got Mr. Ajayi, but in the books, there's also Mr. Farouk who comes in in volume three, and they have this kind of interesting friendship going on in the background that eventually becomes something more. Now, according to the graphic novel on which the show is based, the next season should be about the group on a class trip to Paris. While Paris is known to be the city of love, this is not exactly going to be the case for the group, because they are going to find their relationships difficult to navigate, and they'll be facing new challenges as well. While this is likely to be the case, we should all keep in mind that there are likely going to be a few tweaks to the storylines. If there is one thing that we know about movie adaptations of books, it's that they don't exactly have to do exactly what the book says. Creative license means that the producers, script writers, and directors can edit, remove, or completely change something in the books to make sure that it lines up with the plot of the movie. While creative license means that there are definitely going to be some tweaks, one thing that we can be certain about is that the Paris trip is definitely going to be part of the season. It's a major part of the plot, and it wouldn't make any sense for the directors to just cut it out for no reason at all. This is especially true because it's one part of the next season that fans are super eager to see. For example, this fan tweeted, The best thing about season two of Heartstopper will be Kit Connor having to learn French. And another fan said, If there's a season two of Heartstopper and it doesn't have the Paris trip in it, I will do something drastic. Kit already appears to be preparing for this part of season two because he has managed to pick up a few French words. Do you know some French words? Because Nick is supposed to be fluent in French, so. I, I know a few, I know a few. Um, oui. Um, bibliothèque. It means library. Library, yeah. Um, like, I know, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, 
cut these uh, something like that, yeah. Finally, another plot that is pretty much guaranteed is the introduction of some new characters. Introduction of new characters helps to keep things interesting, and it's always nice to see a new face. It's fun for fans to try to understand the new character, how he fits into the storyline, his relationship with the old characters, and stuff like that. Now, we already know for a fact that we are going to be seeing a new teacher named Mr. Farouk, who is going to be Mr. Ajayi's love interest. Fans think that there are going to be at least two new characters to spice things up a little bit. We don't know who's going to be playing Mr. Farouk because there has been no official word on that just yet, but the casting so far has been pretty great, so there are high hopes that the actor will be perfect for the character. Also, Alid is a recurring character in the books, but he was written off the show for season one. But if there's one character that has a high chance of being introduced in season two, it would be him. Kit also hinted that his character was going to be experiencing some new difficulties in season two because his older brother is likely going to be introduced. But the thing is, his older brother is not exactly a great guy. Speaking to NME Magazine, Kit said, For Nick, I think there's a lot more exploration to be done in terms of his family. It's known to fans of the comics that he has an older brother who's homophobic. I think that would be a really interesting route to go down. We don't know if we're going to love the new characters or hate them, but one thing that we know for sure is that Heartstopper Season 2 is going to be epic. In fact, fans cannot wait for the release, and they have been sending some thinly veiled threats to Netflix on social media. Like this fan that tweeted, If Netflix cancels Season 2 of Heartstopper, I'm canceling my subscription. And this fan took things to the next level by saying, Netflix is not prepared for what will happen if there isn't a Season 2 of Heartstopper. Netflix has been on pretty thin ice with fans in the last couple months, and, well, the last thing they should do is make fans even angrier. And if they cancel Heartstopper, well, we can all agree that the fans are going to be really angry indeed. With all this being said, there has been no official word on a release date for the second season. But since season one was shot between April and June 2021, and then released a year later in April 2022, then it's likely that season two is going to follow the same timeline. This means that we are not probably going to see season two until April 2023 at the very least. But in reality, it's likely going to be later than April 2022. 23 before season two premieres, because as far as we know, shooting hasn't even started yet. In fact, there has been no word regarding the cast contracts, and since things like this take time, an April 2023 date looks even more unlikely. But even though we don't have word on the official date yet, it's still going to be fun and exciting to look forward to it. In the meantime, check out this other video if you want more videos like this one.